Confronting a scammer tonight, an eight on your side investigation to protect your money. Good evening, I'm Kim Lemon. And I'm Danielle Woods. Consumer reporter Brian Roach called a scammer to help you spot the ripoff before it happens. You know, I hear from a lot of viewers about computer scams, but tonight I want to take you inside a phone call with one of these scammers so you can hear for yourself how the computer protection scam works and how convincing the con men can be. I got an email claiming to be from the Geek Squad about uh, subscription service. So do you want to cancel it, am I right? Yes, I do want to cancel it. This email passed on to me from a viewer claimed a subscription for Best Buy's Geek Squad PC Care was about to auto renew for $438.17. This email was not from Best Buy, but these scams can use the name of any well-known computer protection service, including Apple and Microsoft. The recipient of the email had to call this number to cancel the subscription. So when I called the number, I was told to open up a browser window on my computer. Why would you want me to do that? Because, sir, you need to fill up the cancellation form, which I'm going to provide you right now, okay? While he's claiming he wants to direct me to a cancellation form to get my money back, the ultimate goal of this scam is to get into my computer. First of all, confirm me that what computer are you using right now? It's a Mac computer or it's a Windows computer. With that question, now there's no doubt in my mind that his goal is to get into my computer. He wants mm -hmm. to know what operating system he'll be dealing with in my computer yes, in I order have. to access my files, my personal, and my banking information. He directs me to a website where I supposedly can get my cancellation form and get my money. But this website shows no affiliation with Geek Squad or Best Buy. He wants me to click on a link on that website, and that's where I draw the line. At this point, listen, I want to let you know that I'm not comfortable doing that, and quite frankly, I believe that you are a scam artist. But he insists he's just trying to help me. But I am helping you to fill out that cancellation form and to take that reimbursement because you're like my big brother, and I don't want to lose you to lose $348 because it's a big amount. $348? What happened to my $438? After telling him that I have never dealt with the Geek Squad and no money has been taken out of my account, I tell him again, I think he's a scammer. Okay, if I'm a scammer, then you are right. I'm hanging up this call and I'm happy with your... And our company is going to just happy with your $438. Well, listen, you enjoy my $438.17 that doesn't exist. But uh, thanks, thanks for taking the time today and chatting with us. So the ultimate goal of these scams is to make you believe you've already lost the money and you need to call back to get reimbursed. Now, when you do and they get into your computer, they can get to your personal information and even download ransomware into your machine and force you to pay to regain control of your own computer. Now, Best Buy released a statement to News 8 about this scam. Unfortunately, it said criminals continue to target consumers with many different scams, some of which include posing as well-known brands like Best Buy or Geek Squad. If a customer receives an unexpected call or email, they should treat it with suspicion. Again, this email did not come from Best Buy's Geek Squad. Scammers use the names of well-known computer services like Apple, Microsoft, Norton, or Symantec to make the scam seem legit. If you get an email like this, Make sure you check your financial records before responding. Back to you guys. Brian, I was listening that afternoon. That was impressive. Yeah. I don't know if like the regular person would know how to confront someone like you did. Well, Kim, and you heard how convincing this guy was. Yes. I was on the phone with him for 20 minutes. He really tried to make me believe that I was he was doing me a favor, but you saw or you heard what I said mm -hmm. to him. There was no way he was doing me a favor. He was trying to get inside that computer. Yeah, wow. Thank you, Brian.